Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Control Center, which is an app that basically emulates or copies the Control Center panel from iPhones. Uh, I was looking for an app to be able to kind of do something like that, and I've used similar apps before. I've reviewed uh, Wave Control is a good one, as well as Widget Soid, but I wanted one that was uh, where you just drag up and the panel comes up, stays there till you're done with it, you can do what you need to do, and then you slide down to make it go away. Basically like the control panel from uh, iPhone. And I'd seen that being used of course on uh, other people's uh, iPhones and so I was like, oh that's kind of cool. wonder if I could have something like that with Android. And of course you can and that's what's great about Android. And there are several apps. This is one particular uh, one that I chose. I liked kind of the way it was laid, laid out and uh, it works really well. So anyway, let's hop on my phone. I'll show you how it works, the different features it has few ways I think it could probably be improved, but uh, it is a really, really great app, so let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on my phone, right now we're on my home screen, and uh, if I want to uh, initiate Control Center, then just from the corner over here when I swipe up, there you go, there you see it. The date and uh, day is up at the top, and then you have these various toggles here to toggle through Wi-Fi, uh, vibration, turn sound off, Bluetooth, GPS. You can swipe and get to additional toggles as well. You also have brightness. You can turn automatic brightness off, and then you can choose the brightness level. Or you can turn automatic brightness on, and then it's automatic. You can also control music, and so you have your play back forward you have your volume level it's all the way down right now because I'm in vibrate mode but you can control your volume from here and then uh, you also can see like memory uh, battery uh, your SD card memory and this spots free you can add, I could add something there and then at the bottom is uh, your app shortcuts uh, there are a few built-in things such as flashlight and I'll show you that that works if I click flashlight it turns flashlight on that's built in. Uh, the camera is built in as well. Um, and then these are apps that I added, my alarm clock app and a, a voice recorder app. That takes me into my phone settings. And then if you swipe, you have additional uh, things over here. Uh, this is the control center settings. We'll go into that in a minute. Um, as well as uh, this is another app. So pretty cool. Uh, and then when you want to get rid of it, you just swipe it down and it's gone. So it's there for you, no matter what app you're in. Let's open up my Gmail app, and you'll see again, if I swipe from the corner, it's there, get rid of it. So very cool that you can uh, have it there for you whenever you need it. So let's open it back up, let's go into the settings for the app. This is the control center settings. You can turn the service off, of course. Um, you can configure the touchable area, which is cool. You can see the little green spot down there that shows you where it is. You can make it all the way across the bottom if you want. Um, I like just having it in the corner. That way I don't have to worry about accidentally uh, tapping it uh, uh, to start it. You can also control the height. So you could have it be the whole big corner. But again, I like to keep it pretty minimum so that I really have to, you know, I'm not, I don't want it to get in the way of other things I might be doing. I want it to only open when I intend it to open. So I keep it really small and just swipe up from the bottom. Um, you can also switch it to be just in the center, or you can have it on the right or the left. I think it would be cool if you could have it on both the left and the right. Um, that way you could swipe from either corner. But uh, generally speaking, I think for me, the left-hand corner is most uh, is easiest because I can do it with my thumb or my finger. If you're left-handed, you'd probably want it on the right. You can also have the arrow indicator. Hopefully you can see that. puts a little arrow in there. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, it's like a opaque white arrow and it would be there uh, when the green goes away that arrow would stay there so that you know where the spot is but since you set it up I don't think that's too important but it's cool it's an option uh, click to expand so if you have that checked then you can just click it to expand as opposed to uh, uh, sliding it up I personally prefer to just slide uh, that way you don't accidentally do it so I keep that off um, that's an option and then uh, 
touch uh, vibration uh, so that you feel slight vibration when you touch it and then lock screen display if you want it on your lock screen which is cool um, and you probably do uh, so then you can also choose your background color you can choose the default gray or you can choose the black as I have it and then you can choose the transparency how well you do or don't want to be able to see through it when it's open which is cool um, I'd like it again. I'd like if they had other colors besides uh, default and black if they had other colors You could have like red blue green. I think that would be a cool option. Hopefully they'll add that uh, You can uh, choose your toggles if you go to your toggles you can choose reorder the order you want your toggles to be in uh, So I can hold over here move that up hold over here move that down so you can make it the order that you want it to be the ones at the top will be on the first row and then the ones towards the bottom half will be the ones that will be there when you slide over as you saw me do uh, then you have uh, your uh, reset shortcuts if you do that it'll reset all of your shortcuts that you can recustomize them um, but I'll show you in a minute how you can add additional ones and then configure music playback app. So you can choose which app you want the music player to control. You probably want to choose the one you use the most, which for me is Google Play Music. So I chose that. And then there are questions and answers and ways to contact them. And you can upgrade to the pro version as well. Um, now getting out of this and going back, uh, open control center back up. Uh, again, this bottom row, you see I have things added there. If I wanted to uh, change that, if I click on that, Plus, then it will open up a list of apps that I can add on here. Um, so any of your apps, the one thing I would like for them to uh, add on there, perhaps, is the ability to add shortcuts to this. Because if you could add shortcuts, uh, Android shortcuts, not just apps, but Android shortcuts allow you to direct text, direct dial, so you could put your best friend or your best friends uh, that you text a lot you could put them down here so when you hit that it takes you right to text them or call them or your spouse um, that would open up a world of options and it should be pretty easy so hopefully they'll add that feature soon to be able to put shortcuts down here not just to open apps but also to open Android shortcuts also you could put task or task down here if you could do shortcuts which would be awesome so that's one thing that uh, hopefully they'll add in the future um, now if you long press on this it highlights it um, you can change it out to a different app so even if an app's already in there and you want to change it you just long press it and then here you'll see I have that free there if you open that up uh, it just opens up it's sort of an ad for them basically is what that is that's uh, free games so if you click that it opens up to other games they have but uh, that's about it. That's about all there is to say about it. Um, works well, very simple, uh, adds the exact functionality that I wanted, uh, imitated by the uh, uh, iPhone control center, control panel thing. Um, and there you have it. So that's it. That was Control Center. As you can see, it's a very cool app. Has, you know, basically all the features you would need. Hopefully they'll add that shortcut thing soon because I think that would... Uh, uh, really open up a lot because then you could add task or task and shortcuts to direct call or direct text somebody and that would be really awesome but otherwise i think it's a pretty uh, great app uh, even as it is and uh, i would highly recommend you check it out so i'll have a link uh, in the description below you can click that to uh, hop over to the app on the google play store anyway that's it for this review if you like this review please click that like button you know anyone who might be interested in it share it you can do it on facebook twitter google plus email all those fun ways are down there. Check out my channel for about a hundred Android app reviews. I only review apps like this, apps that are, uh, have some utility or function that I think enhances uh, your phone. So lots of cool uh, apps you can find out about by checking out that channel. I also have a task or tutorial series and then I have a product review series where I review uh, lots of accessories and gadgets to go along with your Android phone. So a lot of cool things like that. But I also do household products, kitchen appliances, dog products and things like that. Check out my channel for all that stuff and subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest videos. Anyway, that is it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.